What is up YouTube? Mike here with another video and today I want to do a little bit of a tip for those who use Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Now this may or may not work with other video editing software such as Final Cut Pro. I honestly don't know because <clears throat> I don't have or use Final Cut. But this is a tip that I discovered for Final Cut Pro and it is fairly simple and it is nothing more than editing videos off of an external SSD or hard drive. Now the one I recommend is the Samsung T3. It is a portable SSD. Uh, really good. I like it so far. I'll throw a review of this up here on the YouTube card. So you can check that out if you want. But it doesn't have to be this particular hard drive. But any hard drive will really do. But obviously if it's a SSD it'll be faster. So it'll improve how long it takes to edit and especially uh, encode or export your videos. Now why would you want to use this? Really, if you've got a older machine or a slower machine where your read and write speeds on your internal hard drive are slow, this will help speed it up. That is, if you use a, um, this particular one anyways. If you just use a regular hard drive, you're really not going to gain any speed, but um, this is a viable option if you have a slower machine. But the reason I personally do it is because I like to edit video on my Surface Pro 4. Just because it's portable, I can do it on the go. But why I like to do it on here is because I can create my project, I can do all the editing, and I can do everything except for the last step, which is export. And I can, if I have it all on here, then I can use my big gaming computer back here to do the export, and it will cut the time um, over half. So that's why I like to do it. But the caveat is, obviously, you have to have everything on the drive that you're going to use. So for me, is what I do when I create a new project in Premiere. I make sure I choose the location as the Samsung SSD here and then all the files that I'm going to have in the video whether it be pictures or video or whatever they all have to be in the same folder on the drive so if you do nothing more than put the little Adobe Premiere Pro um, thumb, thumbnail or a little file saver on the drive but you don't have your videos then obviously that's not going to work and you've got to have Premiere Pro installed on both computers if you do it uh, or if you use it for what I like to use it for. So again, this is what I like to do. I'll, like I said, I'll create everything on my Surface Pro 4 except for the last step. I make sure I save it. Then I take this little drive here. I plug it into my freaking monster computer back here. And then I open the project, hitting code, and bam. It saves me quite a bit of time. So this is what I like to do again with my Surface is, you know, I'll go hang out at my local coffee shop, Starbucks, whatever, and I'll take about three or four videos and I'll edit them. Uh, edit them. Is, that, is edited them a word? I will edit them and uh, save them except for I won't export them. And so I'll have about three or four projects on my little drive here. I'll bring them, bring this thing home, plug it in, and I'll just export them one at a time uh, for the final product. And this saves me a lot of time. Like I said, <clears throat> my Surface Pro 4 is fast. It edits and handles 4K video really without any issues. But when I do want to do the final export, it could take quite a bit of time. And again, if I do it on my desktop, it cuts that time in half at least. So um, obviously, if you've been using Promote, yeah, if you've been using Premiere Pro for a while, then you probably already know about this. But this is something I found out. I, I didn't know that I could. Um, I knew I could edit off of a hard drive, but I didn't know that Premiere would recognize that project once I started it on another um, device or hard drive. So that's pretty cool. So if you're a beginner, then maybe you learned something new. Obviously, if you've been using Premiere Pro for a while, you're probably telling me, duh, I already knew this. But it helps me out. It's just something I do for my workflow. I do it all off of this little uh, drive here and do all my heavy encoding and final um, editing on my gaming PC. So really that was just a quick tip on Premiere Pro, being able to edit off of a external hard drive. So hopefully that helped you out. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed, please do it. And, uh, and if you've not subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Thanks.